after downloading and installing Visual Studio, the next step will be integrating your Specflow extension with Visual Studio IDE. To extend Specflow to Visual Studio, you need to click on Tools, click on Extension and Updates. Then, by default, you might go into the Install part of it. That shows the installed extension and update that you have. But you need to go to click on online and make sure that you are online and you have internet access. So after you clicked on online, click on the search button, search text box and search for spec flow. that should display that for you it, and with download button. If you don't see download button, it's possible that you've already extended your ID to Specflow. But this is what you should see if you have not done that before. Then you click on download and that should start downloading for you. So once that finished, you're going to see a message at the bottom of the window that says your changes will be scheduled. That means you, it's not yet affected, so you need to close Visual Studio and open it again. So let's close Visual Studio and close that. A window should pop up okay so and that window should ask you to modify your visual studio let's wait for the button to appear okay then you click on modify this step is different from adding nugget nugget packages we're going to do that later this is a step that you do only once you don't do it for every um, project you only do it for every instance of visual studio that you have if you have community 2017 and you now go and download enterprise 2017 you need to perform this step but you only do it once for visual studio instance that you have if you have previous version you still need to do this also. So, but you only do it once. You don't need to do it for every project that you do. You only need to do it once for your Visual Studio. So, let's wait for that to finish. Once that is finished, we open our Visual Studio ID again. I would like to re-emphasize that this is not adding NuGet package. You are not adding NuGet package at this point. You are only doing the extension. You still need to add NuGet package to your solution later. So we do that later in the in the training. Once you see this window, then you click on close. So after that, then you can open Visual Studio again. So now that we've got our Visual Studio reopened, let's go and check our extension again to be sure it's been extended. So we go to Tools, Extension and Update again. This is just to cross check what we did. We now in this time we want to go to inst installed and you can see we already have which are we already have spec flow 
extended so that's where you can see it uh, even if you go to online as we've done before and search for spec flow spec flow you can see what you have spec flow is there right now but with the green tick we shows that you've got it installed then if you put your mouse on it you can see the this extension is already installed so that shows that you've got that installed right now so okay so that is how to extend spec flow 